first thing you need is a wee container that you might already have in the house like this or like this wee thing that the tomatoes came in and they usually have holes already in the bottom of them if you find a wee container that doesn't have holes in it well then here's one here I think that I don't know what was in it falafels or something and I'm gonna poke holes just with a pencil into the bottom of it just four or five holes okay some other things though not as easy to get the pencil through and you might need to make holes with a knife so just get an adult to do that for you and it doesn't do a very good job because it just sort of breaks into it like that it's not great but if you can get some sort of hole in it, it's better than than nothing so get your little container and put a layer of compost if you have it now if you don't have compost in the house or at your garden you can use um, kitchen roll or cotton wool for this doesn't take much okay because these are going to sprout anyway whether you have soil or not or if you have a little patch of garden you know dig a wee bit up put it in just a wee bit of soil something for these to grow in and then you're going to sprinkle them in your little tray like that so you don't want them sitting on top of each other but you do want quite a lot so just remember you're not planting peas here okay sometimes not the children but sometimes the mummies and daddies get mixed up and then they come back and they say oh my pea shoots are this high we're not trying to grow peas out of these or we wouldn't plant them this close together okay we're planting them because we only want the pea shoots and we only want them to grow this big okay so once we've planted them give them a little cover with some compost or again another layer of kitchen roll or cotton wool and they're just loosely covered like that and then finally you can leave them outside at this time of the year or if you want to grow them in the windowsill you can just grow them inside and they'll grow a lot quicker but put them on a on a plate or something like that whenever you're water them maybe over the sink or outside in the garden just a little bit and you'll see there's the water dripping through so that's why we want to set them onto something like that now they don't need watered every day they only need watered if they're dried out okay and in about two weeks time they're going to be like this and all you're going to do is go in and pinch them if you pull them and see what happens when I just pull them when I pull them well the whole thing's coming out or if I pull one of these ones like that the soil comes out and the pea comes out with it so we don't want to do that there's our wee pea that we planted there's the roots that have gone into the compost and this is the shoot and it's just this bit that we want to eat so we just pinch it or we use scissors snip it and not pull it and then you eat it lovely <laughs> so I want people to plant some pea shoots for me if you can dried peas a little bit of compost an old container and send your pictures to kindergartencooks at gmail.com and let me know how you're getting on with growing your pea shoots at home. See you next time.